Hi guys, Gerald here. So one of the things that actually helped me get to where I am today when it comes to affiliate marketing is what I call user intent. It's not me that calls user intent actually. It's what it's called. It is called user intent. And understanding user intent actually propelled me from making zero dollars in affiliate marketing <coughs> to the place where I'm doing about fifty thousand dollars every month, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And that's what I want to talk to you guys about in this video. So it's important that you pay close attention and watch this video to the very end. Right? And if you're getting any value from this video, just comment user intent. If you actually understand from this video what user intent is. Now, um, let me explain it like this. When people are trying to buy products on ClickBank, anywhere, right? There is a particular thing that they do. There is, there's a way users actually react. You know, there's different words that they use to search for things. This is what we call buyer keywords. Now, let me give you an example right now. Go on Google search, right? Type Bluehost review, Bluehost review. Now, you go to Keyword Planner and search for Bluehost review. You see that that keyword is worth about $350 per click. So, if you are a Bluehost affiliate and you are running advert for that particular keyword, that means that you are paying $350 per click. Now, that is a very expensive keyword, right? Why is it expensive? These are some of the things that we're going to be talking about in this video. Now, let me give you a, a real life scenario before I get right into it. I recently bought the phone I'm, I'm filming with right now. It's an S20. So, I, when, before I bought this phone, a week before I bought it, what I did was that I went on Google. I was searching uh, S20 review, S20 plus review, S20 ultra review because I wanted to get an S20 right i saw a bunch of reviews on google i read them then i came on youtube right here on youtube and i searched for s20 review uh, s20 versus s20 plus s20 versus s20 ultra you know s20 plus versus s20 ultra versus you know um uh, huawei p p40 or p30 review you know stuff like that i was searching for these reviews why because i was interested in getting this video sorry this phone right now that is how buyers will react i don't know if you've ever bought something online before most times what we do is that we put in the name of that product then we put review at the end of it that's what we do most times we put review at the end of it now what happens is that because we want to buy a house we are looking for reviews or we want to buy this cap for instance i'm using for i'm looking for reviews for this particular cap you know because i want to know what other people actually think about this thing that I want to buy. People that have bought it before me, what do they think? Now, I opted for S20 Plus because a review I watched on YouTube made me understand that S20 Plus has a higher battery. I think it's 4,500 milliampere battery as opposed to the normal S20. Then the S20 Ultra has um, the 100 times zoom, which I don't need for anything. So I decided to go for the S20 Plus because it has a better battery life, basically. So my decision to buy this phone was influenced, influenced by that review that I read online. Now that is how buyers actually react. It's important that you understand this because it is what propelled me from where I was making zero, zero, zero dollars from in affiliate marketing to where I am today, where I'm doing about $5,000 every month on affiliate, in affiliate marketing, right? So yeah, now what buyers do is this. When people actually, um, like research is number one product on ClickBank right now. I, I believe you know that, right? Uh, number two is Lepto Connect. Then Lepto Talks is number three and all that. Okay, so um, what happens is that when a new product launches, the big marketers that has very big, large email lists, they will send out emails to all those for all their um, uh, potential buyers. And guess what is going to happen? Those people will want to actually get to know more about this product. They will go on Google. Google is number one search engine in the world, and they will type research review, right? They will type Lepto Connect review. They will type Lepto Talks review. They will type Bluehost review, S20 Plus review, right? So review is what they are looking for. So you know that it's a content creator, that you actually want to pitch this content to these people. What are you going to write? What are you going to focus on? You are going to focus on reviews. Right? When you are writing an article for Bluehost, for instance, you are going to be, say, be, be targeting Bluehost review. When you are writing an article for um, Lefty Talks, for instance, you are going to be focusing on Lefty Talks review because that is how buyers react. They are looking for reviews. 
those reviews will 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 inform their decision to either buy or not buy this product so your job is to convince them to buy this product using your link that is user intent you have to understand how your users think first once you understand how they think you have you have started winning and that is one of the things that i understood in my early days as an affiliate marketer i understood the fact that i need to understand how these people think the potential customers the people that are going to buy this product that are going to buy research that's going to buy let talks that's going to buy um um african fast flusher that's going to buy all those products on clickbank what are they going to be searching for it's important for you to understand that right they are going to be most most likely the name of the product they review at the end that's most likely what they're going to be searching for yes so if you understand this, you have started winning already. So if you understand what user intent is right now, let me know in the comment section. Just write user intent in the comment section. Let me just know that you understand what I'm to, you understand what I'm talking about, or if I need to elaborate on it in, in subsequent videos, right? So yeah, it's important. So what you're going to do is that when you come on YouTube and you're making a video, your target keyword is going to be the name of that product, then with review just beside it. An interesting thing is that if you put your keyword at the beginning of the title, right, YouTube uh, algorithm and Google algorithm uh, tends to understand the fact that this is the main keyword for this particular, uh, whether it's a video or an article or something, whatever it is, this is the main keyword to focus on, right? So that is user intent. That is the first thing that you need to understand. Because I've seen a lot of videos on, on YouTube, people are trying to focus on a product, you know, and, and they, are, they are using things like uh, tarot, this, that, 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 there's no review at the end of it, right? The closer you are to what the potential customer is searching for, the better your content is going to do because it's answering their question. Now, imagine when you go online right now and you search for um, laptop, laptop S20 Plus review, for instance, and there are 10 videos. 10 videos that has S20, S20, S20. You are most likely going to go for the one that has a review because that is what you are looking for. That is what you are interested in, that is what you searched. That is the exact keyword that you searched, right? Now, um, when I was learning user intent, I, I ran an ad. That's something I understood. I'm going to teach that maybe in a, in a subsequent video. I, I took a product. It wasn't a clickbank product. It was um, an independent affiliate product. I took that product, took the name, right? The name of that product, that review. And I was running an ad on Google for exact match, right? Maybe that's what I'm going to be teaching. What I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do uh, ads, right? For for uh, affiliate marketing, ad for affiliate marketing. If that's what you're interested, let me know in the comments. If you're interested in that video, let me know in the comment section, and maybe I'll just put it on my list. Actually, on my list, maybe I'll just prioritize it if it's something you guys are interested in. So, um, yeah, the name of that product with review, I was running exact match, right? And I was making sales. It was an independent affiliate program. It's not. Clickbank, you know, so yeah, so review is very important. That is what we call buyer keyword The name of the product the review at the end, right? Gerald Ford review um, LG TV review Xbox review um, Whatever I, iPhone X review iPhone 11 review, right? That is what you have to understand. What are your potential customers? What is the exact keyword that you're going to be using to search for this thing? And most often than not, review is what it is, right? That is what user intent is. That is something that's on the, that I understood that actually propelled me to get me to where I am today when it comes to affiliate marketing, guys. So, so before I leave, I said I was going to tell you why keywords like Bluehost review is actually very expensive. Now, the reason is simple. Um, there's a lot of affiliates who are affiliates for Bluehost. So those guys are running adverts for that keyword, right? Everybody is bidding, trying to outbid the other person because that's how Google Ads actually work. You bid for those keywords. Now, if there are 10 persons bidding for this, 100 persons bidding for this keyword, this person bids 20, this person bids $30, this one $50, so this one $100, somebody is willing to pay $350 for one particular click on a specific keyword. That means that that keyword is very valuable. The people that are searching for Bluehost review are most likely buyers. Just like, the, just like when I was searching for S20 review, I was a buyer, a potential buyer at that point in time, and I converted. 
So there are people that have a lot of budget. They are ready to spend a lot of money because they know that for you to come and search for Bluehost review, and Bluehost pays you $65 for everybody that you bring in, right? If you bring in a lot of persons, over time, they'll bump it up to 100, 120, 150, and all that, right? So people are willing to pay this amount. Now, that is why on ClickBank, most uh, ClickBank products, like Research, for instance, they will not allow you to run ad using their keyword, like Research Review. Anything that has to do with research, you, can, you are not allowed to run ads because they are running ads, right? So if you run an ad, they are going to, you know, uh, uh, disable your affiliates, whatever. And that's how most, uh, most um, uh, ClickBank products work. So what people do to work around this is to find keywords that are related. For instance, let's say there's this uh, product on, on, on ClickBank called His Secret Obsession. Now, this keyword is about, this product is about making people fall in love with you and all that, right? So, people will look for uh, uh, keywords like how to make a guy fall in love with you or how to make a woman fall in love with you and stuff and now run ad for those kind of, uh, run, now run paid ad for those kind of keywords targeting that product, right? Because they believe that somebody that has that problem, like for instance, let's say um, uh, there's this book of lost remedies. It's actually a product on ClickBank. Now, um, if they, I don't know if they allow you to run ads, but if they don't allow you to run ads with your name, then you can find a, a keyword like maybe like find a disease, right? The disease for that a disease that you can actually run ads on. People that have like Parkinson disease, for instance, I think it's part of that product, Parkinson disease. So you run an ad for Parkinson for targeting people that have Parkinson, or people that are researching for Parkinson disease, because the whole idea is that maybe somebody in their family has Parkinson or is showing symptoms of Parkinson and all that. So they want to maybe buy or find out what they need to do. And this product is there for them to do. And your ad, you now run ad for this thing. So when people start going for a particular, more people, more people target a particular keyword, right? The more expensive it becomes because people are bidding, right? The person that pays the highest, the person's ad will show in the long run. So that is why Bluehost review is actually very, very, very expensive because a lot of persons knows that Bluehost review, that keyword converts like crazy. So a lot of persons are ready to spend any amount of money on it. And the more money affiliates spend on that product, the more affiliates that spend money on that product, the more expensive it becomes to run ads on that product, guys. Until I see my next video, keep winning. Don't forget that Gerard loves you. And if you're new to my channel, I want to encourage you to please subscribe button right now and the notification button now what that bell button does is that whenever i drop awesome videos like this one uh youtube will notify you and send you an email that gerald just dropped another awesome video so that you can jump right into it take advantage of it and win guys until i see you in my next video keep winning and don't forget that gerald loves you bye